So we're back playing a little bit of uh, Delium. I realized I made a few mistakes and I, I put a post up in regards to that so you can read about it there, we won't go into the details, but uh, suffice to say that I thought it was worthwhile trying to play again. And just to kind of recap on what's going on, we've had the some of the initial moves were on the end of turn four, and uh, as per my typical modus operandi, I like to kind of move the skirmishers up first, followed by the cavalry on either side for both sides, and then when appropriate, uh, move the uh, center forces up, typically, you know, hoplites or heavy infantry up to engage. With these new rules, well, I'm calling them new rules, but with the full version of Great Battles of History, there's uh, subtle but distinct differences that yield mostly the same result, but on occasion you'll get uh, some something that's significantly different between the two systems. <clears throat> but what I have noticed with this advanced combat for the hoplites is that if you're in walk mode, where are you? Here. Yeah. If you're in walk mode, that's one thing, but if you're in run mode, which both these forces here were, uh, as the defender, you have the opportunity wherever... Uh, uh, so these guys were here in the beginning of the turn. That's as far as they can move. But, uh, and they had two or three uh, cohesion hits from all the terrain they crossed. When the Athenian hoplites activated, they chose which units to uh, move, and they rolled and uh, to see whether they would walk, trot, or run. These guys got to run. Well, they got to run, so that's awesome, right? They can preempt the attack coming at them, and they get the plus, the plus two benefit to the die roll versus uh, them receiving <laughs> the the negative effects of the plus two die roll on the. Uh, combat results table, shock uh, combat results table. So it's an interesting little dynamic that uh, if you preempt, uh, you know, this advance rather than sitting there and taking it, taking the charge, it can be quite deadly. And let me just kind of zoom out here a little bit. Uh, so over here, you can see uh, Pagondas has done, has done his job with the double depth phalanx, and we routed off uh, one. Uh, hoplite unit here. Uh, here, similarly, there was a uh, opportunity to conduct a run, so they got a run. They got a run result, so they charged in. So, in the two instances where we charged in, this is the result that we've achieved. That plus uh, plus two to the die roll was very significant. Now, down here, not as significant because uh, neither side was running. In fact, this comes off. These guys are walking. Uh, although these guys are now up to a four, uh, both sides are engaged, and even with the, the column shift, uh, it still didn't quite, uh, wasn't quite as effective. They're only at four points of, of six versus up here on five of six. Uh, so pretty, uh, pretty substantial results across the board for the Athenians, and it's looking like the battle will be very different depending on what happens with the cavalry over here and uh, the cavalry here. We'll see what happens there. There might be a chance for us to, uh, to beat up on these guys if, uh, if, we're, if we're lucky. We'll see what happens. Cheers.